Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is the most effective martial art on the planet, but there's no doubt that it's also the most disorganized. Think about it. You can go to 100 different BJJ academies anywhere in the world, and the first class, the first technique you learn will be completely different at every single one of them. And what's crazy is the actual techniques that a student, a beginner student needs to learn to defend themselves in a real fight are actually very simple and very few. If you just look at 80 plus years of Gracie Jiu Jitsu kind of family fight history, it becomes very clear that only a few dozen techniques are necessary to get down and take care of business in a real street fight. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how effective Jiu Jitsu really is. Since it is the most disorganized, the dropout rate is higher than any other martial art. So what this tells us is that actual combat effectiveness is far less important to most people than structured curriculum driven learning. So the question Hiron and I asked ourselves was, what if the world's most effective martial art also had the most effective structure? And that's when Hiro and I created the first white to black belt Gracie Jiu Jitsu curriculum and made it available online in video streaming format at gracieuniversity.com. Now, these aren't simply three minute video demonstrations of a bunch of techniques to confuse you more than you already are. These are 45 to 90 minute per lesson explanations of these concepts, principles, and techniques and all their variations Present it in a way where you learn the variations, you learn how to drill the variations for reflex development, and we even teach you how to spar to include the techniques in the bigger picture of things. With this universal Gracie Jiu Jitsu curriculum in place, we created the Instructor Certification Program, the ICP, to certify instructors to teach different segments of the curriculum and establish their own certified training centers or CTCs. There are four levels at which a CTC can be recognized. If you're a blue belt and you're just getting started, you're a level one CTC and all you're teaching is Gracie combatives and Gracie bully proof. If you're a purple belt, brown belt, or black belt, then you can get recognized and certified at level two, three, or four respectively and you can teach up to your rank. Typically, people who complete this instructor certification program and join the CTC movement fall into one of three categories. Gracie garage leaders, traditional martial arts pioneers, or exhausted BJJ instructors. Gracie Garage leaders are super enthusiastic practitioners who live in the middle of nowhere, who train exclusively on the Gracie University curriculum with a small group of equally enthusiastic training partners. A great example of this is Scott Butler in Kayala, Australia. This guy, five plus years training purely through Gracie University, small group of dedicated training partners, but it got to the point where he had like almost a dozen men training every week with him and like 20 plus kids coming to his garage for Gracie Bully Proof lesson. Basically all the neighborhood kids would come train every single week. And at that point he realized, man, this is amazing, but is there something more I can do with this? So he and his top three training partners came to California, completed the instructor certification program, went back and established a Gracie Jiu Jitsu certified training center level one in Kayala, Australia. Within the first 40 days of operation, they have 65 active students. So it's just an amazing example that with passion for Jiu Jitsu and an equal passion for helping people, anything is possible. Traditional martial arts pioneers are people who are very dedicated martial artists, own existing traditional martial arts schools, but are wise enough to know that Jiu Jitsu is the way forward. And if you don't offer Jiu Jitsu in your building, your students may leave to learn from someone who does. We have so many examples of these pioneers in Williamsburg, Virginia, John and Mike Nguyen training for 18 plus years in karate when they found out about the instructor certification program, learned Gracie combatives, got their blue belts, came to Torrance, graduated from the ICP, went home, established a certified training center, and within two years had 150 active jujitsu students, more than in their karate program. Today they're both solid purple belts, and if you're ever in Williamsburg, Virginia, go check them out. The third group is made up of what I call exhausted BJJ instructors, and this one I hear all the time. These guys have dedicated countless years to jujitsu training and teaching, but they really have nothing to show for it. And they're at a point where they, they're pretty much ready to throw in the towel. No retirement, no savings, no future, and they don't know what to do. They, they're, they're not sure if they should literally give up and start a completely new career, or because they've invested so much, just kind of ride it out to the end. What's most frustrating for these instructors is they really can't seem to pinpoint what the problem actually is. They're skilled, they work hard, they put in the hours, yet to no avail. 
And this is because they are the actual problem. In situations like these, the entire school operates as a function of the individual instructor's talents and jujitsu innovations. In other words, everything revolves around a single person. And if that person gets sick or takes a vacation, the school suffers. And if that person decides to step back into partial or full retirement, the school is dead. At CTCs, on the other hand, the schools operate as a function of a system. If I leave for two weeks to do a seminar, every single class will be taught exactly the same in my absence as if I were on the mat. So the bottom line is CTC students are not committed to an individual instructor. They're committed to a system. And the single biggest mistake and the single most important change that any BJJ instructor can make to benefit themselves and their academy is to go from an instructor-based operation to a system-based operation that everyone benefits from, including themselves. So the question I often get from these BJJ instructors is, can't I just bootleg a copy of your DVDs, make my own similar system, and make it happen? And the answer is yes. But at the end of the day, if people aren't breaking down your door to learn that system, what good does it do you? You see, for me and Hidon, our number one objective is to make the world fall in love with jujitsu. But not just any jiu-jitsu, Gracie jiu-jitsu, and more specifically, Gracie combatives, Gracie bullyproof, women empowered, and the master cycle. Every single video we make is to get people excited about the techniques, principles, and philosophies of these specific programs. The way I look at it is social media is just one huge funnel. 40 plus million YouTube views equates to millions of curious yet fertile minds funneling to our website to find a school where they can learn these very specific programs and ideas and techniques from a qualified instructor that we've personally certified and endorsed. If after their amazing energized, or should I say hedonized YouTube viewing experience, the student ends up on our website and you're listed as one of our certified training centers, they will funnel to your CTC excited to know that they're gonna get the exact same quality, safe, structured, street self-defense learning experience that we offer here at headquarters in Torrance, California. But if you make up your own program, even if it's a perfect knockoff, an exact replica, it doesn't matter because if there's no funnel, there's no future. The Gracie family is huge. Elu had nine kids, Carlos had 21 kids. Between the two of them, they have 105 grandchildren, including myself. Over 50 members of our family are actively involved in jiu-jitsu professionally in some way or another all around the world. And with this many Gracies all over the place and each one with their own affiliates, it's amazing. Jiu-jitsu is being spread all over the world. And oftentimes people will call me and say, hey, Henner, there's an affiliate of this Gracie in my neighborhood, a new school just opened, should I go train there? And my response is always this. If the Gracie is in the building, go. Go learn from them. But 99 times out of 100, that school is an affiliate of a Gracie, but there isn't an actual family member teaching in the building. The problem is if I can't guarantee the quality and the safety of the instruction that that affiliate instructor will offer, I can't endorse the school. And it doesn't matter whose name is on the storefront. The bottom line is every time someone calls the academy and says, Henner, there's two BJJ schools in my neighborhood. One is a black belt run BJJ academy. The other is a blue belt run Gracie certified training center under you guys. Which one should I train at? In every case, my answer is the same. It doesn't matter what the instructor can do to you. It matters what the instructor can do for you and how they do it. Try a class at both locations and let me know how it goes. In the spirit of full transparency, we give every student at every CTC free access to GracieUniversity.com, the entire curriculum. This is amazing for several reasons. For the students, they love it because they can log on and watch any one of their lessons, Gracie Combatives, Bullyproof, Master Cycle, Women Empowered, whenever they want to review a technique or to preview a technique before an upcoming lesson. The instructors love this because when a student goes online and watches a lesson taught by Hiron and Henner, Gracie, and that lesson and the details of that lesson is mirrored exactly in the instruction that the instructor at the location provides. It reassures the student that even though the instructor might be a blue or purple belt, they're receiving black belt level instruction because they just saw what black belt instruction looked like and that's exactly what they're getting every night at class. So it's an amazing tool, it's an amazing resource and uh, ultimately everyone benefits. And we benefit at headquarters because if the instructor teaches the move incorrectly 
or blatantly disregards the curriculum, the student notifies us, and then we have a talk with the instructor. And you guys probably know how that talk goes. Quality across the board, curriculum consistency is the most important thing. It doesn't matter if you're a blue belt or a black belt run CTC, we have to guarantee that every single class, that every CTC is taught exactly the same. If this happens, everyone wins. And not to mention, when a student earns a blue belt or a purple belt or a brown belt or any belt from any CTC, they don't get the belt from the CTC. The belt is sent from headquarters. And what this signifies is that they meet a universal standard that all schools are adhering to. And that makes us very proud. And you can imagine how that makes a student feel when their belt comes from the top. For any individual who wants to teach Gracie Jiu Jitsu, it's obvious that going through the instructor certification program and establishing a CTC is the best move. But it costs money, so they can't justify the move in their heads. So I came up with a very simple analogy to explain how this works. Most schools have a receptionist. And let's say you pay your receptionist $400 a week, $1,600 a month. But how many students do they actually generate for the academy? Zero. What if I were to tell you that for a small fraction of the cost, Hiron and I would be your receptionists, except we would create a complete curriculum, certify you and all of your instructors in how to teach and administer the classes, and market your program to millions of people around the world. Would you hire us? Mm -hmm.